Hi everybody and welcome to the second of four videos covering the general workflow for outfits. Last time we covered how to find outfit and accessory meshes as either loose files or within archives or BSAs and I showed you how to extract meshes using an archive extractor tool. In this video we're going to cover getting your outfit into Outfit Studio, making a few simple changes, and then getting the new outfit back out. We're going to use the vanilla Archmage robes that we extracted in the previous video and delete a couple of things from them. If you didn't do the extraction along with me, that's okay. You can find a copy of the female robes in the Simply for Practice mod already, or you can work with another mesh if you'd prefer. I want to thank Little Old Lady Gamer for the idea behind this video and for all the lovely comments so far. I hope that everyone who's watched this series up to this point is feeling courageous enough to get into Outfit Studio and start experimenting. Here is an overview of what we will be doing in this video, and you can use the timestamps in the description to skip to specific steps. This is going to be a video for beginners. I will assume that you don't know how to do these steps yet, so I will be going slow and explaining in detail. If that's not what you're looking for, then this video is probably not for you. If you'd like to follow along, or you just want a testing place for your outfit work, feel free to head over to the Nexus and download the mod I made as a companion to this tutorial series. It is called Simply for Practice, and I've put the link in the video description. If you'd like to use it, head over to the Nexus, then download and install the mod as you normally would via your mod manager. Be sure to activate it in your load order. I'm going to be demonstrating the Outfit Studio workflow with the Archmage robes that we extracted in the last video. Open up Outfit Studio if you don't already have it open, and also open the mod containing your mesh in Windows Explorer. I recommend putting these windows right next to each other for ease of use. Because I'm going to be using the Simply for Practice mod a lot, I'm going to go ahead and pin it up here to my quick access bar. Open up your mod folder, open meshes, and keep opening until you find the mesh you want. I will be choosing the female Archmage outfit. But I want to emphasize here that Outfit Studio works perfectly fine for male meshes too. You'll mostly see female outfit work in videos, but Outfit Studio is not just for female clothing and armor. In fact, it's not even just for clothing and armor. You can use it for just about any kind of 3D meshes if you know what you're doing. All right, so I'm gonna keep clicking through these folders until I find the female Archmage mesh that we extracted from Vanilla Skyrim. And then I'm just going to drag and drop the size zero file here into Outfit Studio. You can find a copy of this mesh in the other folder of this mod, which you can use if you did not do the extraction. Just don't save over it because we're going to use that mesh in a future video. So we've got our mesh in Outfit Studio, now let's do something to it. First, we're going to delete one of the mesh pieces from this outfit. Turn on the little pencil over on the left so you can see the vertices. Now, click on the second mesh piece over here on the right, so descriptively named Robes 1. You should see the fur trim on the shawl light up with green dots. Let's say we want to just delete this fur part. Easy peasy. We either hit the delete key on the keyboard or right click and select delete. You'll get a confirmation window. Say yes, since we really are going to delete it for this exercise. However, make note of what it says in this window. You can't undo whole mesh deletions. So always be sure that you really want to do this. Once you've hit yes, you'll see that poof, that mesh piece is gone, and the undo button will not bring it back. If you want it back, you'll have to bring the mesh back into Outfit Studio, like so. 
and then you'll have to do more steps to deal with the duplicated meshes, which is beyond the scope of what we're doing right now. All right, so we covered deleting a whole mesh piece. But let's say you just want to delete some vertices and not the entire mesh. That's pretty easy too. So let's delete the pouches from this outfit to demonstrate. At the top, select the masking tool, the circle with the white square on top, and turn off the mirror down here on the left because the pouches are only on one side of the body. Make sure you have the robes zero mesh selected on the right. Now click once around the area of the pouches. Some vertices will turn red, meaning they are masked. Now hit the D key on your keyboard to mask more adjacent vertices. Hit it about five more times until the pouches and parts of the robe are all red. Now hit the A key on your keyboard to reselect adjacent vertices. Hit it about eight or nine or even 10 times until nothing more happens. The pouches should stay red while the rest of the robe turns green again. If the pouches also turn green, it just means that you didn't quite have all of their vertices masked before you started hitting the A key. So just try again and hit D one or two more times this time if needed to get all of the pouch vertices masked before you use A to reselect the robe. Just don't hit D so many times that the entire robe turns red or else hitting A is not going to work. Okay, once that's done, you'll see that what we have now is the robe selected and the pouches deselected. So if we deleted vertices right now, we actually would lose the robe. We need to invert our mask so that the pouches are selected, shown in green dots, and the robe is masked, shown in red dots. Remember, red means that part of the mesh will not be affected by whatever you are about to do. So go up here to Tool and then Invert Mask. And now you can see that the vertices making up the pouches are all that we have selected. To delete these vertices, go up to Shape and then Delete Vertices. And poof, now they are gone. Note that this action can be reversed using the Undo button, unlike deleting an entire mesh piece. So we now have our new mesh with the fur trim deleted and the pouches removed. Let's save this as a new NIF. All we have to do to get it back out of Outfit Studio is export it. First, let's clear all the masking. I don't think you have to do this before exporting, but I hate looking at a big dark thing on my screen. So go up to Tool and then Clear Mask. Now over on the right side, select all the mesh pieces. We only have two, so this is easy, but remember that you can do this by clicking the top one and then holding down shift and clicking the bottom one to select them all if you have a large number of meshes. Or you can hold down control while you click on them one by one. I should note here that you don't have to export all of the meshes that are listed. You can pick and choose the ones that you would like to be in the final outfit. For us, we need both of these, so be sure you have them both highlighted. Once these mesh pieces are selected, right click on one of them. It doesn't matter which one and select export and then to NIF. Navigate to where you'd like to save this NIF. If you are using the demo mod along with me, Let's just save it right here where we got it from, but with a new name. You can either type the name into the box from scratch, or you can select one of the files and it will auto-populate the name. If you select one of the files but you don't change the file name down here, then it's going to overwrite the original. You'll get a confirmation window asking if this is what you really want to do. Generally speaking, I would say no, you should not overwrite the existing file unless you are a thousand percent certain that you will never need it again because you can't get it back. I suggest saving this with a new name for now. We can always change the name later. 
For now, let's just add new to the beginning of this file name. Click in the file name box at the front of the name, type new, and then hit save. If you look at the mod folder we have open in Windows Explorer, you should be able to see the new file there. If you have NIFScope installed and you have it set up properly already, you can double click on the NIF here in Windows Explorer to open it up in NIFScope and see how it looks. If you don't have that all set up, it's okay. We will actually be covering that in the next video. Great, so we've successfully tweaked the size zero file for this Archmage robe. Now we have to do the same thing for the size one file. If we don't, then very weird things will happen in your game. We are done with the size zero meshes, so let's get rid of them. Go up here to File, then Unload Project. A confirmation window will pop up. If you wanted to save this as a project so you could do other things to it, like make it body slide compatible, for example, you can do that. However, I almost never save projects because I don't do body slide stuff. Once you have the NIF file exported, you don't need to save this as an Outfit Studio project in order to bring it back in and do more things with it. So I generally just click Unload here, and everything gets cleared out, and now we can start from fresh. Let's walk through the same steps again for the size one female archmage robes. I'll do the steps pretty quickly this time, but you should feel free to pause as needed since this might be quite new to you still. Drag over the size one file, select the fur mesh piece, which is robes one, and either right click and select delete or hit delete on your keyboard. Select yes at the confirmation window. Now click on the robes zero mesh. Make sure you have the masking tool selected and click once on the pouches. Hit D about six times to mask the pouches entirely. Then hit A about nine or 10 or more times to unmask the robe entirely. Go to tool and invert mask so that only the vertices making up the pouches are selected. Go up to shape then select Delete Vertices. Go back to Tool and clear the masking. Select both of the mesh pieces on the right using either Shift or Control plus click. Then right click on either of them and select Export and To NIF. Just like we did for the size zero outfit, let's save this one with a new name. First select the original which was Archmage F underscore one, and then add the word new to the front of it in the file name box and hit save. If you still have the mod open in Windows Explorer, you should see the new NIF file there. You can confirm it looks good by opening it in NIFScope if you already have that tool installed. And that's it. We've successfully brought an outfit into Outfit Studio made some changes, and then we've gotten it back out again. Before we wrap this video up, I wanted to provide some cautionary words. If you are going to delete or do anything to vertices or meshes, there are some things that you need to know. First, if you're deleting, you must delete exactly the same meshes or vertices in both sizes of the outfit, or it will mess things up in your game and you might see something like this. In our example, it was pretty easy because we only had three mesh pieces to work with, and we opted to only delete vertices for a part of the mesh that was clearly delineated, so using the A and D keys to smart select while masking ensured that we were getting the same vertices in both files. The second thing to be aware of is that if you try to delete vertices that don't have a clean break from the rest of the mesh, meaning that A and D are not able to cleanly select only that part, then you're probably going to have a hard time ensuring that you are changing exactly the same vertices in both size files. 
and you may also end up with holes in the mesh. You definitely don't want either of those things to happen. For the holes in the mesh problem, there is a way to work around this, but it involves a mix of mesh work and texture magic, and that's well beyond the scope of this video. We will be talking more about these concepts as we work through future videos, and we'll learn about a couple of ways to make sure that we've deleted exactly the same things from both the size zero and size one outfit. For now, our goal was to just practice getting something in and out of Outfit Studio, so we don't need to worry too much about it at this moment. All right, we're going to end things here for now. Having made some simple edits to the Archmage outfit, and exported the two new files out of Outfit Studio. As long as you save the files with new names, as I showed in the video, then what we did here today will not have any effect on what you see in the game. If you did overwrite the original files that we extracted from the Skyrim BSA, you may see the outfits changed when you go into the game. If you don't want this, you can either delete the new files from whichever mod you put them into, or you can just change their names by slow clicking on them and typing in a new name. I hope that you found this to be a helpful overview of the workflow through Outfit Studio. Next time, we are going to look at another important step of the process, viewing and working with our meshes in NIFScope. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.